I am, uh, yes, for sure. So, a good day for us. Um, with the weekend, I think everyone's side is a bit hard to know where we were really stacking up against everyone and what we could actually do. Um, one thing that's been clear all weekend is that Mercedes have been very quick. I think that's probably been the most obvious thing. So, I'm not surprised to be behind them. Probably surprised to be as close as we are, we were. And I think that's a that's a lovely thing. But uh, do I think 200 was in the car? Absolutely. I don't think it was a perfect lap. But at the same time, then George didn't even improve on his new set of tyres. That kind of thing. So. Some some shoulda woulda coulda, but uh, yeah, a close qualifying. Two hundreds between three three cars is um, frustratingly close in some ways, but also uh, to be there, still to um, be in a good position to, to start Sunday in a in a good place is exactly what we want. It's a nice consistency, so um, I'm so happy with it. We've not done any long runs, so I think it's a really it's a big question mark for everyone. At the same time, uh, the weather is a big question mark for everyone, so. Plenty of opportunities, I think, for you know, for everyone up and down the grid. I don't think it's just for us. So of course, we want to make the most of them and take advantage of them. But uh, yeah, plenty of things can happen tomorrow. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it it's because it's so close. Um, hopefully, it's down to those smaller things, and you can make a difference on the start or the pit stops and things like that. So uh, should be fun. Lando, congratulations. Uh, where do you think the difference was for you in Q3, like in terms of trying to get pole position? Um, I mean, Mercedes have been very fast all weekend, so you definitely say they've got the quickest car out on track by, I would say, a, a good little margin because pretty much every single run that we've done this weekend, uh, it's been pretty much a Mercedes 1-2, so um, just a little bit everywhere, you know, they just seem to have that car balance in a slightly sweeter spot than what we do, and it's not easy to do, I think, for anyone on this type of circuit because you're bouncing over curbs and it's very slippery with this tarmac, so... It's kind of uh, feels like a bit like go karts in, in a way, but no one specific, uh, specific. I think I didn't get. A, I've not been particularly good in turn three and four. Just my on my own and a combination of maybe not the car giving me the confidence I want, but at the same time me not just doing the best job there. And that's where Mercedes has been extremely quick and George has been extremely quick. So probably there, but at the same time. Um, I'm sure George is going to say he could have improved too. When you look at the, uh, the, there hasn't been a ton of long runs being done so far this weekend. When you take a look at the race tomorrow, obviously you're saying Mercedes is pretty quick. What do you think is possible? <laughs> I think many things are possible, uh, but we're in a position. I think we're we're fighting for for a win. I don't think we should say anything otherwise. So excited! We're fighting at the top. We're fighting for big points, and uh, of course we're going to do what we can to to move two steps forward.